I've come to a farm steading near Creef in Highland Perthshire. On the way I crossed moorland, bracken, heather, sheep grazing, mist on the hilltops. And now, in front of me, is a small tea plantation. This is the Wee Scottish Tea Company. At the moment, the precious trees are under plastic. Plantation manager Chris Henry explains. In the summer, it, it looks nice. You see there's like 12 rows of trees. So that there's probably 10,000 tea trees under the tunnels at the moment, but it's all about survival. Three years ago, the company's owner, Tam O'Bran, thought the fierce Perthshire frost had killed them all. We were looking at all of the leaf having been removed by the cold. And we really did think, OK, well, there's two years of your life and nothing's going to come for it and you're going to look really foolhardy. Then the spring came. These two six-foot, 120-kilo blokes you're looking at were like giddy school kids. We were watching these things come back. The trees survived, and in the hut where the teas are tested, Tam offers me a tasting. His Dalriach smoked tea could cost as much as £10 a cup. And it goes to the filter in the pot. A lot of people use a cafetiere um, because there's a, normally a cafetiere in most kitchens and they have the same type of uh, mesh just to allow the tea to infuse and also allow you to stop the brewing period by plunging down. Exactly the same as with coffee beans. You mentioned a cafetiere, and I suppose one thing that's happened in the last 15 or 20 years is that people have become much more choosy about their coffees. Does it seem to you that it's time that happened with tea? <laughs> yes. So our education on coffee has expanded and expanded, and people really do have an understanding of what they should and shouldn't receive. With tea, funny enough, I think that revolution began probably three or five years ago. Get your nose in there, just like a good glass of wine. There may be a relationship between the taste of this and the same earthy, peaty taste that you get in certain whiskies. There's a way of doing this, which is sucking. The smokiness is there straight away, but it does have the same sort of effect as drinking a smoky whiskey. Yeah. It's very delicate, it's tasty, but the smokiness, I do like. It's taking tea to a, a better level of sophistication, but an accessible level. It's not um, in any way operating within the realms of tea snobbery. Tam O'Bran believes Scotland has the water, the soil and the slopes to compete with the best. He says it's time tea was treated with as much care and attention as coffee. After all, he says, tea is in the British DNA.